karate versus capoeira. There are many different types of martial arts, some more well-known than others. Karate is probably one of the more well-known, but capoeira is not one that we hear so much about. The two techniques are very different and originate from very different countries. So which technique is best? Or is it right to say that one is better than the other? We're going to take a closer look at both of these martial arts in detail, their origins, the style of each, and which one would win in a fight. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. The word capoeira comes from the Tupi word ka'a, meaning forest, and pau, meaning round. This refers to the areas of low vegetation in the Brazilian interior where fugitive slaves would hide. It has been suggested that capoeira was first created during the 16th century by slaves who were taken from West Africa to Brazil by the Portuguese colonists. At this time, they were forbidden from practicing any martial arts or celebrating their cultural customs. So in order to bypass these laws, capoeira emerged. A mixture of dance to music and violent kicks came across to others as passionate dance movements. This became a survival tool for slaves and a way of saving their cultural identity. Many slaves using capoeira could escape their masters and form rebellion groups known as quilombos. Within their own communities, they stood against the Portuguese control and became famous for their courageous defenses they put up. Palameres is one of these communities with a stronghold of over 10,000 people. As the population of slaves became bigger, so did the culture of capoeira. For many, this was entertainment as well as a form of defense. It was used in competition or for leisure. The Japanese translation for the word karate is empty hand and evolved in East Asia over a period of centuries, becoming systematized in Okinawa in the 17th century by people forbidden to carry weapons. It's thought that karate was influenced by Fujian White Crane a form of Kung Fu originating in southern China. Okinawan Karate is related to two schools known as Shorin Ryu and Shore Ryu. The former refers to Master Matsumura's Karate lineage as well as the Northern Temple of Shaolin. The latter refers to southern Chinese martial arts which were largely brought back to Ryukyu from Fuzhou and Fujian. In 1609, the Satsuma clan of Kyushu, Japan, invaded and seized control of Kyukyu. The Okinawans were then forbidden to practice any martial arts, and although they fought hard against this, the Satsuma samurai overpowered them. During the Satsuma occupation, karate became shrouded in secrecy. So let's look at the difference in styles. Karate is a discipline employing kicking, striking, and defensive blocking with arms and legs. An aggressive art with emphasis on concentrating as much of the body's power as possible at the point and instant of impact. There are three types of training in karate, first being kihon, which means basics. This forms the base of everything, including stances, strikes, punches, kicks, and blocks. The next is kata, meaning shape. These are a sequence of movements and postures formed for defense and offensive moves. Then the last is kumite, literally meaning meeting the hands. Kumite is practiced both as a sport and as self-defense training. We are now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to our fighting styles. Capoeira can be described as a game, a dance, or a fight. It teaches cleverness, awareness, the ability to perceive danger early and deal with the situation calmly and cunningly. It focuses on movement. In fact, the fundamental movement is called ginga, 
meaning to swing. This is a practice of constant motion, preventing yourself from being a still and easy target. It also makes the opponent unaware of when you may strike. The defense is based on using evasive moves to avoid an attack. It is a very acrobatic martial art with a series of rolls and cartwheels, all allowing the capoeira to quickly overcome a takedown or a loss of balance. It is the combination of attacks, defense, and mobility that gives capoeira its perceived fluidity and choreography-like style. Let's not forget that music accompanies the art of capoeira, and this is played on an instrument called a berimbau, which is a Brazilian musical bow made of wood. These instruments are just under five feet long and strung with a single metal wire called an arame. This is typically taken from an old truck or automobile tire. Which form of martial art is the best? Well, that depends on what you want from a martial art. Capoeira is probably the most deadly and yet to look at is more like a dance. And as they say, if looks could kill, well, these can. It's also a great form of exercise as you are constantly moving with twists and turns. It certainly does put your opponent off guard. If you take a trip to Brazil today, you will see many demonstrations of capoeira in the streets and it is a major attraction. Karate can also be deadly, but in a different way. It is more about the hands and feet and not as much about movement. It's also a lot about the power of mind, meditation, and self-discipline. There are also a lot of different teachings of karate and in some, weapons are included. So what would happen if karate came face to face with capoeira in a battle? This is a tough one to answer as they are both, as was mentioned before, deadly. Looking back at what has been said, it would seem to me that capoeira would come out on top. But I could be wrong. On one hand, you have the fast movement of the capoeira. Would karate be able to keep up with the constant moving around? But then again, you have the concentration of karate, the perseverance and fearlessness. They both pack a wicked blow with feet and hands, elbows and knees. Capoeira, having the upper hand of taking his opponent down with one swift move of the legs when you're least expecting it. It's all about fast and furious. We really believe though, karate is the more disciplined martial art of the two and the more well-known one which in turn would make anyone wishing to take up the sport more confident with it. Karate also has a very smart appearance with the white costumes and an array of colored belts to achieve, whereas capoeira is more relaxed and much more a street event, and as mentioned before, something you see in Brazil as one of their most recognized sports. But unfortunately, it is not seen in many other countries. Karate, I believe, is popular all the world over. So that's it for our look at Karate versus Capoeira. Which martial art do you think is best? Is there a winner here or do you think it's even? Do you practice one of these? Please let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.